When artists and spouses Stephanie Trenchard and Jeremy Papelka moved to Sturgeon Bay with their two young kids, leaving Stephanie's successful career designing textiles for men's ties back in San Francisco, California, Trenchard said she felt as though they were taking a step backward. Little did the young couple know they were about to breathe life into a budding Wisconsin glass artist community. Uh, then glass, but glass, you really, the weird sort of like uh, fine print in a career in glass when you're in school with hot glass is that you're really facility dependent. And so once you graduate, you're kind of in a cold uh, world out there and you have to figure it out often. So it's kind of changed a lot since that was 1990 uh, when I got that degree and that there's more collaborative spaces and nonprofits that will cater to people. You don't have to build your own studio, but uh, we knew we could maybe, we tried to do that in the Bay Area. I found some partners, but uh, Wisconsin offered a chance to kind of do it on your own. Since then, they have had an immense impact on not only the Sturgeon Bay community, but on the world through their artwork, activism, and outreach. Trenchard says they would not be where they are today without faith in one another and determination to live out their careers as artists, which they felt destined for their entire lives. It's actually a very lucky thing when you know it your whole life. You don't even really think about it or question it. You just kind of aim for that. Um, so I think both Jeremy and I are, are kind of lucky in that way that we knew what we wanted to do because I think a lot of people kind of flounder and go back and forth and try to figure it out. So, um, no, I, I always knew. Papelka says his great-grandfather was a blacksmith, his grandfather an accomplished jeweler, silversmith, and involved with the Art Institute as well as Papelka's father. Art and craftsmanship was in his blood, and his family encouraged his goals. He jokes it was almost like he had no other career of choice. Today, Trenchard is an artist of many forms, painting, glass, and poetry. Though Trenchard didn't begin working with glass until she was 35, her first love, painting, brought her to the painting class at Illinois State, where she first met Popelka. And um, when he walked in, I recognized him as somebody I knew, but I couldn't figure out where I knew him from. He was so familiar to me. And in fact, I had never met him before. So it was kind of a funny a funny recognition I had the minute I saw him. Over a decade and two kids later, the family arrived in Sturgeon Bay. Popelka says his father was there with a business that owned a golf course property with a house that he allowed the couple to live in for free for one to two years while they started their own business. The artists say glass artists and collectors thrive off tight-knit communities today. Uh, but back then, there really wasn't a lot of glass. It was sort of, glass was definitely exploding around the uh, country, but as a, as a medium, um, but there weren't any established hot glass studios. So when you say glass, there's lots of different types of glass. There's kiln work glass, there's people <laughs> who like stained flat glass. And there were a few of those people that were very good, but we didn't really have any connections with them. We connected with some of the ceramic artists up here a little bit who have longstanding histories. And so in the beginning, we would just sort of, I had galleries in San Francisco, but when we moved here, it was like we went to a different planet. And a lot of those relationships didn't happen anymore. Papelka says Trenchard had full faith in him to build their glass studio in Sturgeon Bay. The couple scheduled a class at their studio with a local art school, putting him on a nine-month deadline, which he met on a shoestring budget. The couple found inspiration in Door County's artistic landscape, where they found their initial community and where artists are embraced. You need that support and that uh, backup to feel a little confident. But um, Sturgeon Bay was a bit of a, you know, a reach because everything off in Door County is thought of as north of Sturgeon Bay. Um, but um, we really like the industrial history of Sturgeon Bay and the potential there. But there really weren't a lot of artists setting up shop here uh, like there were up north. And so most people that we talk to now often will say we just used to drive past Sturgeon Bay. But now we actually are amazed at what's happening here. So I think we are kind of proud in the fact that we, you know, focused on this town and not setting up up north. We're really happy to be down here and to also see a huge change in the last 20 years since we've been here downtown. But in the beginning, we had a studio. We didn't have a lock on the door. So people would just come in and look around and um, people often would just take something and leave us a check. <laughs> it was, it was, that happened two or three times. So it was pretty grassroots way to start a business. But um, after five years in that space, we were able to purchase a building in town and 
Um, that was about 20, that was in 2001. And so then we were able to really develop our own business then. The couple worked hard to build their relationships that first summer, participating in local art fairs like Harvest Festivals and Milwaukee's Smooth Jazz Festival. Even though they didn't have significant financial rewards, Papelka said the fairs gave the couple unique experiences. Papelka recalls a Milwaukee Journal reporter approaching them at the Smooth Jazz Festival, and she ended up writing an article about their studio and classes they taught. Papelka says when the article was published a few months later, the couple's glass courses were kickstarted. The next day, there were 88 messages on our answer machine. Uh, That's what I tell young artists, just keep doing it, do everything you can, try every angle, just keep doing it and something will click. But you have to, you can't give up, you can't give up, you know, you're going to have a lot of rejection, a lot of defeats, um, but you got to keep going. Because of their fiery determination, Popelka and Trenchard each established themselves as artists with unique styles and progressive missions while influencing each other's work daily. Trenchard says she's a very literal person and finds fulfillment through storytelling with a focus on women in art history who are often missing from the conversation. She, with the help of Popelka, works on a lot of figure casting to capture these stories in a tangible way. These values also translate into the couple's teaching career. The couple says that they have probably had around 800 students over the course of 25 years. While most of them are looking for novelty of trying out hot glass, Popelka and Trenchard are gratified that a few have gone on to develop their own careers in glass. Trenchard says around 80% of their students are women. She has a passion for serving as their mentor. Trenchard says she and Popelka recently saw a modernist exhibit at the Whitney in New York City that included a lot of women and artists of color. So there was fresh work, there were fresh names. So I, I feel like the whole um, art community is is kind of coming around to this. And so that's exciting for me. I have been focused on this for 20 years. Popelka focuses on his legacy in a more literal sense. In addition to upgrading their equipment to limit fossil fuel emissions from their studio, he was inspired by archaeological studies in Oakland, California, where objects were used to define ancient populations. So I took classes out there from my college to see those archeological sites and just think about what is your time on earth? What, what objects are you gonna leave behind anonymously that are gonna describe you? And so that became really the basis for my lifetime of, of what I consider more of my serious work uh, that's all about your legacy as a person on the planet. And so um, that kind of led to different projects. And uh, always, once we came to Door County, I became more interested in the local uh, geology and uh, the long-term history in terms of fossils up here that became a big part of my piece. Outside of Papelka and Trenchard's physical work, they have left their legacy as pioneers at the heart of a colorful art community in Sturgeon Bay and continue enhancing the community, bringing new artists and ideas into their accessible studio. In the last couple years, we've been um, having a sort of a residency program where we have another artist come here and we had um, Jaime Guerrero, which I will type his name out for you, um, a wonderful um, Mexican-American artist from Los Angeles, um, originally from Los Angeles, former student of Jeremy's at California. Um, he had a, has an amazing um, technique and um, attitude in the studio. The thing about glass is it's really all hands on deck. Everybody gets involved. It's really fun and it's really um, exciting. And so people are really drawn to it all the time. So bringing someone in just really brings great energy into our studio. Popelka says the couple also works to leverage their studio as a way to propel local dialogue. Whether they are hosting lectures and discussions, putting on a gallery drawing from different elements in the community, or connecting with visitors in town for the Holiday Music Motel's songwriting event just down the street. And that's led to a whole kind of dialogue because we're bringing outside uh, ideas into this little town and it's really uh, changing the landscape pretty dramatically. So we've had a part of that, but it's not just us for sure. In addition to bringing new voices into the Sturgeon Bay community, the couple has a passion for travel and they have taught around the world from Amsterdam to Thailand. So glass is really cool in that, the way that it's such a community thing and that what it can bring you to other people and other places. It wouldn't be fair to leave out the couple's connections they have fostered with their clients, who they say become much more than that. We've had collectors throughout the years that have always kind of, they're sort of like your angels that 
you see every year. Um, and sometimes, you know, those people uh, pass away and it's, you feel that huge void. You can count on both hands, these, these different people throughout our lives, especially in Door County that have been integral in making it happen. You connect with these people and I've found as I've gotten older, you know, I go out of my way uh, to be with those people when I see them because you know it's a fleeting thing. And they have so many people like that that don't see you every day. They'll see a piece of glass you've been working on for several months and they'll see something in a completely different light uh, and give you uh, interest, an introspective sort of look at your work that you wouldn't have expected. So um, it's some, it's just uh, it's just uh, very interesting, to, and I'm sure most glass artists can relate to that that they have these people that they would see every year at Sofa and other places, and it's they become part of your family after a while.